washed in the blood and held by its memory. We chose the road less traveled. It's the only path to the Wilderness Journal. Welcome to the Wilderness Journal with your host, Kyle Randall. Join us each and every week for great outdoor action and adventure. Take a ride on the wild side, right here on the Journal. The Wilderness Journal is underwritten by... Silent. Still. He waits until the moment comes when the hunt begins. And by... And by Hogs, makers of Vanishing Hunter, Body and Breast Spray, and Buck Fever Synthetic Deer Lures. Putting 21st century technology to work for you, the 21st century deer hunter. That's Hogs, Vanishing Hunter, and Buck Fever Synthetics. And also by the Corn Crib of Farwell, Michigan. Beat the high price of heat with clean, easy, cost-effective corn. Indoor, outdoor, freestanding or insert. Get a handle on those high price energy bills at the Corn Crib where they're heating it up with corn. Well, hey everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Esnagami Lodge. With our friend Eric Lund, Sue's up at the lodge. We're gonna go up there. We're doing something a little different. If you're a regular viewer, a frequent flyer, you obviously know this face. This is the, the pike and walleye god of the north, Mr. Lund. How are you? <laughs> I'm wonderful. Good. We are doing something different on this particular show. We're gonna start it in the middle because nobody ever does that, so we're gonna. You know how on them shows that you watch, you watch outdoor television a little bit, right? Once in a while we right. get that up here, yeah. Yeah, once in a while. Nakina, Ontario is a bit far north, but they get it here. Anyway, pet peeve of mine, they always show the great big fish. Oh, on the last day, the last minute, I shot the big buck, I caught the big fish. We're not going to do that. We're going to start in the middle. You watch this. I got a whale down here. Beluga. Oh, you got the big pie. Beluga. There he oh. is. I knew that fish. Bring him up here. He's a friend of mine. Max, <laughs> is that a monster? Okay. okay. He may be almost ready to come in. Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. That big, 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 big pie. Just bust the line. I got it. Just mind your fish. I'll take it. Very gingerly. Yes, I see that. Okay, you want to try him this way right here? Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. There. Oh, yeah. Nice job, buddy. Hey. Two in two years. Can you believe it? Yeah. Grab a hold of that. Wow. Use your good that. arm now. Right oh. Jeez, that's a heavy fish. I'd say. You can need a little more tape measure, buddy. <laughs> Four, 43, 44. Yeah, right in there. 43 and a half. Beautiful. Easy, though. Okay. Okay, we're going to put this puppy back. Whoa. There, there it goes. goes. Congratulations, Ooh. mister. Thank you. Nice job. Nice job. Nice. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta love a fire drill, folks. Uh, you got that snug on me, Lodge. <laughs> oh, I gotta you did sit all down. right. Yeah. Nice, nice work. Thank you, Good. Tina. Good boat work. Good boat work. <laughs> well, that, Mr. Lund, let me shake your hand again. That was a fish. See, you don't always have to wait to the end. Big, 40 what? 43 and a half. 43 and a half and, on the tape measure. And counting. And no, counting. It was, it was big. <laughs> By the time I get back to the States, that thing will be 50 inches long. No. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, it ain't always the last day. It's the first day, the middle day, the last day. Up here at Esnagami, it can be any day and every day. 
We're back here, the couple steward, Dave and Terry Dalton are with us. Rob and Jill Benson, my lovely wife Tina behind the camera. And what are we going to do with the rest? Now that we've caught the big fish, yeah. what are we going to do with the rest of the week? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go a little easy on the arm. It's yeah, a little you're, sore. You're killing me. It's well, a little, excuse me, it's a little bright out here. but <laughs> <laughs> No, we're just going to keep going. Keep casting. We're throwing a lot of stuff at them. Plastic, wood, metal. Anything else? Well, everything I brought enough stuff. We're going to do some bear hunting. We're going to try and catch up with a big old bear or two before we leave. I tell you, this kind of trip, this kind of, there's nowhere else I know where you can go and get the kind of accommodations you guys have, the kind of food you have, catch big fish, lots of them, go bear hunting all in August. You're looking to extend your hunting season or maybe finish off your fishing season, August, as Nagami Lodge. You can go out and do this. Every morning, cup of coffee in hand, we'd motor across the lake. We'd set up jigging for walleye or casting for pike. And <laughs> sometimes we just kind of mix the two together. <laughs> what are you doing catching pike on them little white jigs? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't have very many of them now. <laughs> See, I knew he wasn't quite ready to come in yet. You're doing a great job there, Mr. <laughs> Professional Guide Man. We want to give you all the fight we can and still keep our fingers in one piece. Well, that would be the key. Oh, that's a good, good fish. Unfortunately, that's not what I was looking for. Well, some, uh, it's all right. Sometimes we just go with the flow. I guess. Yeah, healthy, probably 27, 28 inch uh, northern. I thought it was <laughs> And he's uh, really tired. Yeah, he wore him right out, hon. Wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gave you a send off. That's that's a an opinion. That was fun. Nice job on a light line, girl. I know. I thought it was a weed. That yeah, a swimming weed. That was fun. That's what <laughs> Eric said. Good job. Just giving you the gears a little bit. That's right. Uh -huh. Jer Eric's seen a few too many weeds to see him swim sideways, dear. See, you don't need pipe weed. Ah. Look at my lure, though. Yeah, that's it for that it's one. It's done. It's munched. Oh well. It gave its life for a better cause. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, I'll get you another one tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> Trust me, we didn't make her wait till tomorrow. In fact, that evening after dinner, we headed back out on the lake, all the couples together, to do a little walleye fishing. And it wasn't 10 walleye. minutes after shutting down in Wildcat Narrows that we were back into the walleye. And <laughs> we were even catching some of them on those little white jigs. All right. Oh, the speed release. That doesn't count. Perfect. Oh. Not, no, oh. if it's not in the boat, it's just another no. story, right, Terry? No, you took a picture of it. <laughs> well, the truth was we weren't even keeping count. No sooner had Tina lost her fish than Rob's wife Jill had one on of her own. Nice one. No, it's just a fighter. <laughs> there you go. Feisty one. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Friends, for those of you who maybe have never heard the definition of quality time, <laughs> this would be that. Here were the guys and the gals, the beautiful wooden boats, the sun is setting, the fishing is going crazy, everybody's getting a turn. And speaking of turn, over in Dave and Terry's boat, I do believe it's just about theirs. <laughs> My friends, it was almost too good to be true. There you are, sharing a gorgeous sunset with the most important person in your life. The walleye are biting like crazy. Everybody's catching fish. <laughs> Heck, they were hitting so good, the gals even let the guys catch a few. Got one. Nice. 
nice job, Terry, with the net. <laughs> Came up just just along the edge of the weed bed. See ya. He's a little skinnier than mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And really, no sooner had Dave let his fish go and got back to trolling, and Terry had another one on. That's just the kind of evening it was. Friends, it really was hard to imagine another place on earth I'd rather been that evening or a person I'd rather shared it with. The sunset was slipping in and out of the clouds. One minute it was a little gray, the next minute it was bright golden. <laughs> the fish, well, they were almost just a bonus. First day back in the bush there. Come here, little buddy. Just a nice little handful of walleye. That. Not a big one, but just about sunset. Certainly a good one. There he goes. Well, that is as good a way to end the first day in the bush as I can think of. Boy, I just, Esnagami, I love this place. There's just no place like it. What a day. Maybe time for one more. There's probably one more minnow. We ought to use it anyway. You know, knows that will have to go to waste. <laughs> yeah. Now that, friends, is the right way to wrap up your first day on a fishing trip. And you know the best thing about that day? <laughs> Tomorrow was only about eight hours away. But well, when tomorrow finally did come, it was cool, somewhat cloudy. It was the perfect day to go out and try and latch onto some of the truly big walleye in this lake. We were on a mission. You know, we got there, we set up on the first rock reef, started jigging, and. <laughs> what is it? A rock. You got a rock! <laughs> it's a swimming rock. It's one of those rare Esnagami swimming rocks. Looks like one of those long, Spotted. fast bass. Spotted though, walleye. <laughs> Friends, I gotta tell you, it's not uh, uncommon to catch quite a few here. pike jigging for walleye at Esnagami, especially in the springtime. Usually in the fall, when we were there on this trip, you throw the great big baits for the pike, but for whatever reason, <laughs> they were smacking them little jigs too. I must have fed 50 of them to them to the critters on that trip. A little bit more of uh, that fight out of them. They're slimy. Really? Yeah. How about that? <laughs> All right. I think he's ready now. Is this what we were chasing? Yeah, we were looking for big walleye. That's a big walleye. Yeah, That's a big nice walleye. walleye. It's a nice Actually, one. it's a nice fat little, not yeah. little, not a bad little bite, but he's definitely uh, feeding for the winter to come. He's really thick here. And, uh, yeah. We'll put him back. He's one of the <laughs> Susie's ready. I really needed that too. Yeah. Susie's ready. <laughs> oh. Okay, my turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, they weren't all pike. We actually did hook some pretty good walleye that day. As a matter of fact, sometimes. A double. Eric, what'd you do? Just quick speed release yours or what? Uh, there's no proof. I uh I nice. thought. Oh. Wait, Wait, there is proof. There is proof. Hold on, folks. The walleyes is a bite. Another one, like the other one. Are you going to put that one back yes, or eat them? All right, well, we're going to keep going because oh, Eric, <laughs> Eric's, uh, he didn't want to feel left out. There we go. Look at there. That was about an inch longer than yours was, Tina. <laughs> it always is. Oh, he's, he's you notice that about him, huh? <laughs> oh, that's a far cry from you actually had it. This one's a nice fish too, but uh, that one you had it a lot more uh, 
thickness to them, so. Well, you know what? It's a fish. Well, guys, let me take just a break from the action here to talk a little bit about the couples tour. You know, I've received more than a few cards and emails from some of you guys saying, what are you doing? I go to hunt camp to get away from my wife. Well, <laughs> I got to tell you, we don't. I truly enjoy sharing the out of doors with my wife, and so do a lot of fellas. But a lot of you still haven't quite caught on. You know, I've heard from many, many outdoorsmen. I wish I had a dependable partner to go hunting or fishing with. <laughs> a lot of you are sitting right across the kitchen table from them. You take your wife out. You show her the excitement. Let her taste the adrenaline, the reasons that we're attracted to the out of doors. And I promise you, she's going to love it too. And the best part, if you can get past the fact that she's probably going to outfish you and probably going to outhunt you, is the fact that you've got someone that you share your life with that will learn to share the love of the outdoors. And next summer, when you go to pack the family car to go on vacation, the first thing she puts in it will be fishing poles. Hey, I hope you take your wife out hunting and fishing with you. I know you're going to come to enjoy it. And I know you're going to enjoy the second half of the couple's tour up at S. Nagami Lodge. The fish are biting, and they're like this. We're coming. Or a really big walleye. By now it was the middle of the afternoon and Dave Dalton had himself tied on to something. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh, honey. Now you can net that fish. Okay. Head first. Yeah. Turn the fish to her, Dave. Reel down a little bit, buddy. I got him. Whoa. That's a walleye, Terry. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Well, now they're friends is an Esnagami walleye. <laughs> what a monster! There's a dandy. Whoa. Is that a big walleye? No. No, it's a small pike. <laughs> Measure it because that's going to be pretty close to 30 inches. He's uh, 30 inches. Whoa. There you go, buddy. That's a monster. <laughs> Hold him up. We'll get it. Hold him up. Nice work, son. Good fish, buddy. This is fun, guys. Good fish. Nice job. You should, everybody that's watching this, you should take your wife so that she can net the fish. I understand. <laughs> nice job, Terry. Thank you. Coached him right into it. I Good did. job. <laughs> nice fish, partner. Well, obviously, we weren't the only ones out fishing that day, but I tell you, there was plenty of fish for everybody. Everyone was catching fish. My buddy Rob was tied into one. <laughs> we all had fish on. You know, not every fish was a 30-inch, 10-pounder, but they were all nice fish. The smallest fish we caught were like a pound and a half. Most of the fish we took were well over two and a half pounds. In the fall, not only the big pike, but the big walleye put on the feed bag as well. Mark, one of the fish guides that was driving the boat for us, he was catching fish. Friends, this is the kind of fishing you want to take your wife on. This is the kind of trip where it's not boring and it's not tough and you don't got to grind it out. You can catch fish and you know what? You can have a lot of fun doing it. And if you're smart, you'll keep a couple for shore lunch or for dinner that night. And it really wasn't a worry. Heck, even Derek was catching fish. <laughs> well, I tease Derek, and he deserves it. But all the pike were in little. Rob caught a dandy 30-plus incher, and it wasn't long after that. And Eric was tied into another good fish. Dandy fish on here. I'm guessing you got a hold. Something, something got a hold on me. see something yellow down there. Oh, yeah. How about that? Maybe. <laughs> well, Eric had another great walleye, 25, 26 inches, 7 or 8 pounds. I might get you a job guiding here yet. I might. Thanks for the help. We're going to put that one back because that's what we do here. Yeah, it is. Boy, that's a, that's a sweet walleye. <laughs> Friends all kidding aside. The fishing in Esnagami really is that good. In fact, it's so good, I even caught a couple. 
It was the middle of the last afternoon, and Tina and I were doing the big fish boogie in the front end of that boat. I had a hold of something, felt like a big chunk of Canada, <laughs> and this is what I come for. Definitely in there. Oh, good fish. You need good a cradle? Fish. We're not done yet. <laughs> not quite fish. Ah. Looks like a pretty good pack. Can you get them yourself? Um, yeah, I will. A little bit. A big old good. Unless we was in Ohio, and that'd be a good old big one. Look at here, look at here, Mr. Pack. Take that for me. Oh, I wanted to go underneath this gills, but now I'm not so sure I do. You're not gonna lip that one? No, I don't think we better. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we better lip that one, ladies and gentlemen. You got a lip bigger than mine. Holy <laughs> smokes, that is a chunker. That's a beauty. What a hefty. Look at the head on that. Boys and girls, children of all ages, look at that. That is a dandy. Look at the meat on that critter. He got stabbed. Yeah, he been around. I don't know what he'll measure, but it's enough. <laughs> look at that. Give me a kiss, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. You're making us look good. We're going to put him back so he's here when they get here. What a dog. 20 plus pounds, I guarantee, if he's an ounce. I think he's ready. <laughs> so you just warm him up a little bit, and then they coast gently away. <laughs> thanks, and thanks, and... Thanks, and good. we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> okay, good fish. Oh, man. Good you. fish. Whoa, thanks for the help, dear. Well, friends, we started this show in the middle, then we went back to the beginning, and unfortunately, this is the worst part of it, the end. Mr. Lund, Another again, good year. On behalf of my wife and my friends, Dave and Terry, Rob and Jill, all the couples that come up here, if you don't take your wife fishing, Call this guy up, write him a little email. This is the place. There's little kids, whole families come here, right? And you have accommodations for all kinds of folks. All kinds, yeah. We have. Uh, you can do your own cooking. We can feed you till you burst, hopefully. And uh, <laughs> he's talking personal now. <laughs> <laughs> and a nice cabin with a, with a comfortable bed for a good night's sleep. Boy, I'll tell you what. There's indoor showers and 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 facilities. You get your own cabin. Like I said. If you watch, you've seen Esnagami. There's a reason we come here, friends. It's because they got fish and because they'll have us. <laughs> Not true. This is a tremendous place. Bring your wife fishing. Bring your kids up fishing. Bottom line, get outside and enjoy some of this. Summers here are short. They are very short. And all too weeks. soon, yeah. like this show, they're over. You know, usually we wrap up a show with a fish. We're not going to do that this time. We're going to wrap it up with the fish we ate. Let's go to shoreline. All right, thanks again. Well, all I can add to that is the fish ate every bit as good as they fought, and I truly owe a tremendous thanks to everybody up at Esnagami Lodge. Certainly Eric and Sue Lund, our wonderful host and hostess, all of the great fish guides that helped us out so much, the gals, you know, the wait staff, they work in the cabins, the cook, everybody goes out of their way to make us feel at home. And I truly hope you take your wife, your family up and enjoy some of the Creator's Bounty in a place just like this. It really is a lot of fun. And you know what? It tastes pretty good, too. Thanks again, Eric.